Hello, hello, welcome to 500 pound girl. But um, updates, after I ended my vlog last night and I said that I was feeling better, it wasn't even 20 minutes later and I started feeling horrific, horrible pain. I drank more tea, I was trying to like drink more water, I had a heating pad on, I was laying on my side because they said that helps with gallstone pain. Uh, I ended up going to bed like drastically earlier than usual because I wanted to force myself to sleep so I didn't have to feel the pain. My body was literally trying to protect me from the pain. And if you know me, you know it's impossible for me to fall asleep any earlier than what my body wants to go to sleep. And usually that's pretty late. Normally I go to bed about 11 a.m. So pretty much noon and I'll sleep for 10 to 12 hours. Oh, I woke up feeling drastically better. So I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. So I just really quickly wanted to show you what I'm having for my first meal. It is a stir fry that I made. I actually made it in yesterday's episode. Um, just all fresh from the earth. No, um, so I'm having that. Uh, also my weigh-in. So after I binged two nights ago, I know I gained a few pounds, but I weighed in today and I'm back to where I was a couple days ago. I was 485.8 so that means I've lost all of the binge water weight and the water retention etc etc so that's a good thing and again keeping my fingers crossed that I keep feeling fine because I'm gonna be honest I'm a little nervous to even eat because I'm afraid that I'm gonna start hurting again so I need to think of the positives and the positive is I am feeling better so um I'm about to have my next meal I'm just having a cup of noodle which is currently in the microwave and then I think I'm gonna have like I don't know a few of these they're lemon shortbread bites one two three four five six seven why not seven's my second favorite number today hasn't been the greatest like mental health day for me it sucks that i couldn't see my psychologist yesterday i wish i could have i know you're not supposed to put it in the microwave but i grew up doing it why am i gonna change now what would be the point where's the pepper pepper wait what I like to add tons of pepper. I know it's already salty, but I do like to have a little garlic salt moment. I really want that like delicious broth. And I like to make it like to where it's only in the microwave for like two minutes. So the noodles aren't like fully cooked. Just still a little hard. <laughs> what? How to get the food stuff. <laughs> yeah. But for the next meal, I order food. If it looks like I've been crying, I have been. It's been a day. Twinkie. Baby girl, it's just me. She thinks she's a she thinks she's a guard dog. And if someone bar march into your house, the most they're gonna do is want to be pet on. That's a lie. Twinkie would kick your fucking ass. Twinkie will bark. She ain't gonna bite. We got from this place called BJ's. That's what she said. <laughs> so good has like the best salmon ever nine times out of ten that is what i get from there my girlfriend got ribs oh my god their ribs are so good their root beer ribs oh, that sounds amazing i really like their mashed potatoes so i also get some of their mashed their mashed taters i'm gonna go get my girlfriend her food i'll be right back baby do you need a fork or anything no and then i get their salmon it comes with rice, it's just salmon and rice. But I remember I was at Texas Roadhouse one day and I ordered their salmon and it came back raw. I said, no, I'm not a Karen. I never send back my food, but I was like so grossed out that I didn't even want it like in front of me. And it's like, I just paid for it. So I decided to say something. And so they took it back and they're like, okay, we'll cook it longer. And I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Like I was so appreciative and I felt bad. They brought it back and it was still raw. I got scarred from salmon for years, like when it came to like ordering it from restaurants. Thankfully, it's no longer like that. So good. And I always eat the middle of my salmon first and then the out part. Just so quirky. And then their mashed potatoes. Unmatched. So I'm gonna go eat this. Twinkie is 
staring at me so pitiful. Come here, baby girl. You want a taco? You want a taco? Yeah. She's already ate. But it's just a dog. It's just a little dog who loves foods. So there's a few carrots. Look at this one now. Ready? Twinkie, is that too healthy for you? <laughs> she usually eats them, but I think she smells the salmon. She's like, damn. This is what they got me. Mother Nature's poo-poo's in the kitchen. Look at Rarity. You can't eat carrots. So I think we're gonna have a movie night. We're not like movie people, but what makes it worse is our attention span. Do you wanna try to find a movie on Netflix or Hulu? Oh, I didn't even think about Hulu. Okay, so I'm just gonna write the word alien because we wanna watch a horror movie, but she's afraid of ghosts. <gasps> Am I allowed to tell them that? You said I can't even say the word, I'm sorry. Uh, she's like terrified in real life because she believes in ghosts. Oh my god, sorry, I'm like, wait, we should have a, I should, okay, we're gonna have a code word. We're gonna call it Oogie Boogies. Oogie Boogies? I'm more scared of that word. Like, can you imagine Oogie Boogie watching you while you're sleeping? Excuse me, what? Why? Why would you say that? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put in aliens. She said the options were aliens or like slasher killer type of stuff. I mean, I'd rather watch the Oogity Boogities, but... There's a literal movie called Alien, because it'll only show movies with the title. title Alien, but on Netflix, if you type in Alien, it'll show you movies that have aliens, I think. Who's woman? Is that your mom? Oh, is it signed into my Netflix? Yeah. It says Alex, woman. Yeah. What is the surprise me button? It just plays something. <gasps> Wait, I'm gonna press surprise. Wait, what? Oh, it's playing Stranger Things, which I've never seen. We gotta go back to the beginning. We can't start it. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that by myself. Are you serious? Baby, you work all the time. When am I gonna have time? Baby, I'm trying to. Can we can we watch Shit's Creek? Like from the beginning. Oh yeah, we can do that. I'm typing aliens. Oh my god, I'm so blind. Dark skies. Have you seen that? I've seen it like ten times. We started watching it. Oh, see, we start watching stuff and then never finish it. Some of my top favorite movies: Forrest Gump, Ten Things I Hate About You, Riding in Cars with Boys. Okay, those are top three. Is that Hitler? What is this? I'm trying to just look for a scary movie with no oogity boogities in it. What does that say? A family man faces his worst nightmare when an extraterrestrial. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, have you seen um, Clover How Cloverfield? Of course Clo I have. I watched it. With John Goodman? Ninth grade. No, yeah. with John Goodman, the new one. Oh, the new one. The newfer. It's not called Cloverfield. The new one. It's not like new anymore, but like the most recent one. John Goodman? Or the one that looks like my dad from Roseanne. My dad and John Goodman, twins. Fred Flintstone. Fred Flintstone. Yes. So you have seen it? No. <gasps> Wait, okay. We're gonna watch that then. So the whole time you're trying to decide, is John Goodman just crazy with these people trapped? Like he has these people trapped down in this area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't see that. Or is there really Something aliens? Happened. I'm not telling you the truth. I know the answer because I've seen it like 10 times. Okay, so we're gonna try to find Cloverfield. We're gonna watch that, and then I'll let you know what she thinks of it. Okay, bye. I'm about to create a little snack bag. I do get snacky at night, nine times out of 10, and today is one of those nights. Quite a few snacks in my pantry. They're all quote unquote healthier snacks. So I'm just gonna take a couple things. I'm gonna take two of these dark chocolate blueberries, two of those. And then I'm gonna take a couple of these milk chocolate vanilla sea salt caramels. There's like six there, six or seven, which is less than a serving, so. I'm gonna have a couple more of these lemon shortbread bites. How I ate mine earlier is I just like sucked on them. <laughs> it was so good. So I'm just gonna have four of those. I also binged on plantain chips the other night, but it's like, they sound so good and I feel like I'm gonna want something salty, but I think instead, I'm just gonna take some uh, cashews, not even a handful. So that is my, it's kind of like a trail mix in a way. I almost wish I had some like dried mango or something. So this is dried apple. Ooh, I don't like how it smells. No, I'm okay, baby. This is what my girlfriend likes, this like dried apple stuff. Is that good for the night? Yeah, I think that's good. That's me being reasonable with myself. Oh, and by the way, we didn't even watch the movie. <laughs> um, I rented it on what's it called? on the YouTube, so we will watch it tomorrow. We're bad with movies, but we have a good movie to watch. And by the way, it's called 10 Cloverfield Lane. I completely recommend it. Coming from someone who's pretty picky with movies, 
definitely listen to me on that regard. Baby, what do you plan on doing with your little snack bag? Do you want me to put it in the pantry? This is her cute little snack bag. Where'd I put my snacks? Oh, love that. This cat and Wasabi obsessed with boxes. <laughs> oh my God. And I feel like the smaller the box, the more they like it. So she was laying in it, but she also loves this spot. So I put the box up here. So it's like the best of both worlds. And she's also a little high on catnip. <laughs> yeah. This is the catnip we use. She loves catnip, so she gets a little of it a couple times a month. We'll put it out for her. Um. <laughs> Smarty cat catnip. <laughs> crazy. He's so crazy. <laughs> okay, you guys, so it's the end of the night. You know, I'm never ashamed of having some fur baby fur on me because that just means they're loved and I'm loved. That's all it is. It's been a couple hours since I saw you guys. I still have not ate any of these. I have thoroughly been enjoying these episodes. The video that I just scheduled to go up is 30 minutes long. Ma'am, did I make a mistake? Did I import like triple videos that I didn't mean to? Like I was so confused. I was like, how is this so long? Um, it's just because vulnerability, transparency, open you guys up a little bit to my life. Um, I'm no longer giving an actual shit <laughs> what people think of me. And if no one watches, Fine, I'll go find another job. <laughs> so I'm getting to talk about serious issues while also talking about, you know, willy-nilly things like movies. You know, it's just, it's nice to be able to, to do that again. And I think a big part of it is I am not reading comments at all. None. And if people watch it, I'm grateful. 100% grateful. More than 100%. Can you be more than 100% of something? If you can, then I am that for you guys. I'm just grateful and I'm thankful. You know, it's bittersweet not reading comments because it like leaves me with a clearer head because the comments, it's torture. The comments are torture for me. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if you guys are enjoying this content. I, I have no idea what you guys are thinking of this. I don't, I have no idea. Um, I don't even get messages on Instagram or Snapchat anymore. I have um, my messages turned off. So if you guys ever try to talk to me on there, um, I don't get the messages because it's just the hate online has been so bad that I really, really think that it's messing with me. Um, I hope that one day the community surrounding my channel won't be as bad. I expect hate always. That's just how it is. Everyone gets hate. But I just think to scroll through my comments and not see a single positive thing is just, it's hard for me. And by me just kind of ignoring the bullshit, if you will, has helped me a lot with this. And I want to continue down this path. You know, it's hard because like there are certain things that I talk about and share like how hardcore I binged the other night or like how sick I was yesterday because my gallstones, you know, you know, and I've been showing you guys literally everything that I'm eating. Is it boring to you guys? I hope not it's because I wake up every day and I'm excited to film. I'm excited to film and that feels really good to be excited to not only film, but also be excited to edit and to upload and just like the whole nine yards. I thoroughly have been enjoying that and hope you guys have been as well. But I'm gonna end this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And I guess the best way you guys can tell me if you are enjoying it is maybe thumbs up the video. I never ask that because it's cringe. Ugh, there's some YouTubers who ask every single video, even before the video starts. It's a little cringe. <laughs> but maybe this could be a way for you guys to tell me without me having to read the comments right now. Anyways, I'm gonna go, I'm rambling. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, bye. I'm always trying to see through your flaws. I know that you got so much more to give You made a real mess, but I miss you though Cause I can go to sleep when I'm alone again